Sample 7, a two-story hotel has interior columns for the rooms that are spaced 6 meters apart in two perpendicular directions. Determine the reduced live load supported by a typical interior column on the first floor under the public rooms. Since the building is two-story hotel, then we have a column at the ground floor which supports only the second floor live load or reduced live load. And after that, we have a roof. So this is a, a member that supports only one floor. And therefore, the uh, reduced slide load should not be less than or equal to 50% of the designed and reduced slide load for, for hotels. And the uh, load is from the table have there a table so this is si so point lo times 0 0.25 plus 4.57 over square root of live load element factor KL, kll times the tributary area the tributary area is 6 times 6 which is if this is an interior column 6 times 6 is 36 square meters live load element factor is 4 so 4 times 36 that would be 144 square meters, which is greater than 37.2 square meters, so we can reduce the live load. Secondly, the design live load is 4.79 for this hotel here. So that's the influence area for times 36 greater than 37.2 square meters so that's why we can reduce the live load then from the table it is 4.79 and this is not greater than 4.79 kilopascals that's why we can reduce the live load so substitute into the formula and compare it with 50 percent of lo so 4.79 times 150.25 plus 4.57 over square root of 4 times 36. The result is 3.022 kilopascals. And this 3.022 kilopascals is greater than 50% of 4.79, which is about 2.4. So therefore, that's the reduced live load or reduced live load supported by a typical interior column on the first floor.